Hey YouTube, it's Tony with Dollar Meat Holsters. Uh, you guys that are uh, doing this stuff from your house, uh, garage, small shop, whatever you've got, um, of course you're probably doing it on a budget. You can't afford a big shop, you can't afford all the fancy fancy tools. And in the beginning you don't need to do that. You can get by with uh, the basic stuff. And uh, I wanted to show you guys my uh, dirty room because once you guys get into this you're gonna actually see how dirty this stuff is uh, but anyway this room is a 6x5 that I built and uh, I've got a door it's one of these accordion style doors or got Kydex door clip and you can kind of close it if you need to um, and when you come in of course the first thing you're gonna do you know respirator hearing if you want uh, definitely a face shield uh, I've got a full face shield right there and then right over here I've got an apron because you're gonna find out how dirty you can get uh, and then you know you come in and it's uh, I've got one light right here but I do have the second light and uh, the second light I actually have it on a remote so get some more light in there but you know Fresh out of the coffee bun press, come in your holster, bandsaw, cut it, go ahead and sand it, and if you need to do some weird cuts, I've got the uh, Dremel with the cutting blade there. You see I've got some extra wheels right here, uh, sanding wheels. I've got a, I believe this is the 120 with the... Um, braided line which you guys really need to um, invest in that it's like twenty dollars for these things and uh, it beats having to pick this up you know do everything and what I did on this is I actually mounted it under there uh, I used some kydex of course it's got the kydex shield and you just reach over grab it starts running and you're ready to go uh, if you want to do a final come over to this one some more kydex Kydex is protecting the Dremel, keeping it dust free the best that it can. You know, reach over. Once you've mounted it, you're going to know exactly where your button is immediately. The scroll saw, I rarely use that unless I'm doing some kind of a blocking. So that's why it's kind of shoved in the corner. Uh, sisal wheel, invest in a sisal wheel. It's worth it. Uh, of course, Harbor Freight, uh, $40 I think is what I paid for this. And... Um, Got a, it came with this buffing, soft cotton buffing wheel. You can pick these up over there. I don't use any compound at all because it compound just makes it worse. Um, got these wheels. This is a 600, and this is a 800 wheel. And I actually have a 400 wheel if I need to, and uh, hardly ever use it. But um, in here, when it hits this point, kind of just reach over. Grab the compressor, clean what you need to clean, step out, uh, that's my little dust collection system right there, plus I have a vent in the floor, and uh, then drop it in the water and let it sit in the water for a little while while it rinses or whatever. And then of course uh, there's Bo, the shop dog, enjoying his uh, awesome freaking life. But getting back to this. You don't have to build this. You can get away with uh, some uh, dollar store shower curtains. Make yourself a, a dirty room. In the corner of your garage or something, just get a couple of shower bars hanging from your garage. And trust me, you're gonna keep the dust contained into one little location. You might get some around, but you're not gonna get as much as if you just left it wide open. And uh, of course, I mean, I, I have, you know, a window here to allow more light and you kind of see what's what I got going on right there and uh, but anyway that's for you guys are asking about the dirty room and I think this actually uh, to build it cost me uh, $140 and the most uh, expensive thing was the actual door because I think it's $45 um, and I already had the glass laying around so and then of course you get creative that's my kind of little uh, door frame there with my uh, Home Depot rulers. 
Uh, but you know, like I said, you want to be able to grab what you need right away. If your wheel isn't working, you know, you don't have to go looking for the box. Of course, your little tool, I've got it on some shock cord. And uh, it's all about just using your time effectively in one contained area, you know, instead of running back and forth and wasting time. Anyway, I'm going rambling on and uh, if you guys need something, let me know. Don't burn yourself. Good luck with your projects. Ain't got no ammo. Peace.